Hello and welcome to this car DV tutorial video. In this video I'm going to show you how to upgrade from a SCAR DV version previous to 3.35 to the current release. Now with the release of SCAR DV 3.35 some new features were introduced and one of these is not compatible with older versions and because of this uh, it basically creates a bug which uh, will certainly be bothering you if uh, you haven't already taken these steps. So, the first thing you want to do is download the uh, 2.35 installer and install it or use the automatic update feature in SCAR. I've already done this, so when I start this up, you can see it's 3.35. Now, it basically looks like 3.34, but some things were changed and actually it shouldn't look like this. Now, the way you can identify uh, if you actually have this issue is first of all, there should be another panel showing up here besides the function list and color history. And when you drag the crosshair over a certain area, it will uh, throw an error. Now, of course, this is not the normal behavior of SCAR. So I'm just going to ignore sending that report. So. What you want to do now is you go into your uh, C drive next to users and go into your user account and next you'll want to go into the hidden folder app data. Now this is for Windows 7. Uh, instructions for Windows XP are available on the SCARDV forums. Uh, next, you want to select the local folder here, and then you go into the SCARDV folder. Now, this folder contains all of the settings files for SCARDV, and the file you're looking for is the docking settings file. Now, the thing you want to do is just remove this. Now, I'm going to remove this dock settings as well. I'm not sure if that's also required, but anything with dock or docking uh, you should remove from this and the rest you can just leave as it is. Now we're going to start SCARDV again and as you can see the color history is now showing up at the left here and we get another panel here which is the target client panel and now when we select something you can see it works just fine and the values here in the target client panel are changing when something else is selected.